So I think I've mentioned a few times that Copa Airlines was starting a route from Monte Ecuador, making Monte Ecuador finally an international airport, again, a true international airport. I think they've called themselves that for a while. But now it's really an international airport with air travel to uh, Panama. And the flight are fairly new. I was able to get on the second flight out of town that they did. Some of this footage though is from about a month after that and I thought I would share it with you. Enjoy. So I couldn't resist this shot. Here's our uh, crack ground crew waiting for the airplane to show up. They deserved a little bit of a rest because you could see once they uh, saw the airplane coming in they jumped into action. They turned that airplane around quickly. We had an on-time departure. I took the shot from the Priority Pass Lounge at Monta Airport. The lounge offers a really great view of the incoming flight, and as you can see, that ground crew was quick to hop up and get ready for this plane coming in, and they turned it around. Copa's flying 737-800s or 900s out of uh, Monta nowadays. Uh, I believe the flight I was on was actually an 800, if I'm right about that. So I was sitting up in business class in 1B, my favorite seat on the plane. And as you can see, the seats are fairly comfortable, standard for, uh, business class seats that had rust moves quite nicely. Good lean back. And of course, what I like is the ample leg room here, and it was nice. I've never been particularly successful at getting takeoff rolls, but I did manage to get one. It was handheld, might be a little jumpy, but I hope you enjoy it. Afraid it was going to be dark to catch the takeoff roll, but it wasn't. It was right at sunset, and then shortly after takeoff, we were treated to some rather nice sunset views coming out over the cloud. It was kind of nice. This, of course, would be over the left side of the airplane. Nobody was sitting in 1A, so I was able to pop over there and get the takeoff roll and catch this view out the window before I went back over and stretched my legs out. It was a short flight, uh, but we did get a snack, and it wasn't bad. They had this... Uh, turkey roll sandwich. It was actually pretty good. And a cookie. They do have Johnny Walker Black for whiskey on board. Not my favorite, but in a pinch, you got to do with what you got. Uh, they've got the normal beers and wine stuff on there. They did ask me an impossible choice whether I wanted this turkey sandwich or the chili. Well, my solution was to ask the flight attendants to stink me some chili if they had any left over. And they, um, did bring me this after the serving was over, and that was actually quite tasty as well. So this has absolutely nothing to do with the flight on Copa itself, but in the terminal where Copa lands, there is an incredible liquor store with all sorts of decent whiskey, and I stumbled across this bottle of Macallan M. Um, I didn't happen to have seven grand on me, and I think the wife would have been a little mad if I came back with it, but um, it was a great li liquor store. And I have had that Macallan M, and it's quite tasty. So, that's Copa Airlines. It's not a bad flight. It's nice to have a flight directly to Panama from Ecuador. Panama's a nice jumping off spot. You can get to several cities in the U.S. from there. And certainly the path I took was Pan uh, Monta to Panama, with only a lot hour layover, assuming it's not delayed like my second one was, all the way to Miami. Get you in about 1.30 in the morning, set you up pretty nice for a flight anywhere else in the U.S. the next day. Hope you enjoy the video. Hit like if you do. Bye.